wild, mysterious world, veiled, impenetrable. A place of legends and wonders, quiet, isolated, full of secrets. And this enchanted forest exists only because of man. The decision to leave the forest alone was a controversial one. Today, its recovery is seen as a small miracle. Nature has reclaimed lost territory here. This film tells the story of the making of an ancient forest. Nestled between two great mountain ranges in central Austria, a last remaining great forest wilderness, the Kalkalpen National Park. In these steep gorges and hidden valleys, it's turning into a wild primeval alpine forest. Extreme weather can batter this steep mountain world night and day. Sudden drops in temperature, storms and heavy rains assault the trees. Floods and landslides tear into the landscape. For millions of years, these natural forces powered the forest's evolution. What looks like destruction and devastation are in fact opportunities to renew the forest. Hastening its return to wilderness. These bare and exposed mountainsides pushed life to its limits. There were trees long before there were dinosaurs. 350 million years of evolution have made them expert communicators in the wild. The forest is a complex web of organisms relying on cooperation and partnership. Trees have developed their own language, a set of codes. They use them to communicate with each other and with their environment. The codes are composed of chemical scents and pulses. Trees obey a fundamental rule of life. They grow and become more powerful. But even giant forest trees don't live forever. Their death gives life new energy. Scientists have a name for it, resilience. The forest regenerates itself in a continuous cycle of growth and decay. Dead wood is the biggest single source of growth in the Kalkalpen National Park. It has proved vital for bringing new life and encouraging biodiversity. The white-backed woodpecker is the ancient forest specialist and one of Europe's rarest birds. Its local name is Hackspecht. It spends all day hacking into old rotting trees with its grooved beak, reducing them to wood chips. And its rasp-like tongue helps it extract insects and juicy larvae. The giant wood wasp is just as precise. This great wasp is almost five centimeters in length. Using its drill, it penetrates deep into a dying tree and deposits its egg. 
just like the giant ichneumon wasp. A lynx steals silently on soft paws through the Kalkalpen National Park. This young female was born last spring. Till now, she was inseparable from her mother and siblings. Now, she is alone with her instincts. The inexperienced cat has to learn how to hunt. The pygmy owl has taken up its territory. It's the mating season, and the male is out to impress a female. The law of the forest? Life begins when a tree dies. And so that millions of cubic meters of dead wood can vanish, the forest engages in one of the greatest cooperations on Earth. With fungi. Fungi are the magic creatures of the forest, apparently appearing out of nothing. In fact, they live almost entirely out of sight, decomposing and processing dead wood. They only become visible when fruiting. What we know as a mushroom exists only for reproduction and is soon reabsorbed. The honey agaric reveals only in the fall where its vast networks run. Mycelial cords sprawl through tree trunks, providing the blossoms with nutrients. These fragile structures are some of the largest and oldest living organisms on Earth. This invisible colony may weigh more than 600 tons and be 2,400 years old. When the sun penetrates the dense canopy, the forest floor comes alive. Beech seeds reach up towards the light. Their energies are devoted to growing higher and stronger to the point of indestructibility. For a year, this female Tau Emperor moth lived as a pupa on the forest floor. Now it's time for a change. She will remain here for the next half hour, pumping blood through her unused veins to unfold her wings. Their sensitive antennae have brought Rosalia longicorn beetles from far away to a clearing in the middle of the forest to one particular log. Here, they will mate. There have been a number of lynx litters in Kalkalpen National Park. The reintroduction of these wild cats seems to have been a success. But there's a long shadow over their future. Inexplicably, male lynx, known as toms, kept disappearing. For a long time it was only a suspicion, but now it has been confirmed. Poaching is undermining the reintroduction of lynx into the Alps. If there are too few males, the lynx population in the Austrian Alps will succumb to inbreeding.
With the arrival of winter, the merciless struggle for survival begins again. In the steep Kalkalpen forests, the primal forces of nature continue to transform the environment. One of the new litter of lynx cubs makes his way alone for the first time. His mother has taught him all she can over the past nine months. Now playtime is over. Every step he takes could be a matter of life or death. Only one in four lynx will survive its first year in the wilderness. The odds worsen if you factor in their deadliest enemy, human trophy hunters. This picturesque primal landscape and all its inhabitants are part of our history. Many of these towering beaches have been here for centuries. For most of that time, the steep mountains protected them. But those times have changed. Now it's up to us to make sure this magical place survives. And the best way is simply to leave it alone.